billionaires are planning to cryogenically freeze their body after death. There are currently hundreds of deceased people in the U.S., including baseball legend Ted Williams, whose bodies are being frozen in liquid nitrogen in the hope that future technology will be able to revive them. But before we get deeper into this, if you wish to support our work then please become a member on Patreon. Now if you are curious to know more about this resurrection story then hit that subscribe button and dive with me into this video. This video is brought to you by our Patreon, YouTube and Instagram members. James Dean once remarked that immortality is the only true success. Even though he meant it as a figure of speech, he didn't get to stay alive forever like he wished. He died in a car crash when he was only 24. But some really rich people don't want to die. They want to live as long as they can, enjoying life over and over again. So, obviously they are investing billions of dollars in research which can give humans a very long life if not immortality. But what if they pass away before the research brings any results? Welcome to the Alcor Life Extension Foundation, an organization in Scottsdale, Arizona, that offers people the chance to preserve their body after clinical death, in the hopes that they can be revived in the future. And it's not just Alcor, there are many other cryonics companies who cryogenically freeze people after death. And in these cryonics facilities, you might see bodies of hundreds of people who have passed away, kept in rows of stainless steel tanks to preserve them. Now the question is that how exactly this works? So, basically after a person is declared legally dead, dry ice is used to keep their body cold. Then they will be infused with cryoprotectants, a kind of medical grade antifreeze, to prevent ice crystal formation which would kill cells. This will stop ice from forming inside their cells. This way, when the deceased person's temperature is lowered, the body vitrifies, turning into a glass-like state, rather than freezing. Next, the temperature is slowly dropped, and they're stored in liquid nitrogen at super cold temperatures, way below minus 130 degrees Celsius. Keeping the body cold helps cells stay alive even after death. But if it's not done right, it could harm the cells instead of helping them. But is there any proof or theory that may bring back these dead people to life? Well, scientists believe that the combination of super strong computers and biology will make it possible to fix all human sicknesses, just like how we fix problems in computer programs. In future we won't be puzzled by death anymore. Instead, we'll see it as a problem we can solve. Billionaire Larry Ellison, who started Oracle, spends hundreds of thousands of dollars every year on projects that could help people live longer. And the co-founders of Google, Larry Page, and Sergey Brin, have invested millions in their own biotechnology company called Calico, which is focused on finding ways to fight aging. However, there is no evidence or guarantee that they can be brought back to life, but what if their investment pays off? Let us know in the comments that what do you think about this. If you want to see more such videos then hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Of the unknown, where the truth is revealed no longer alone. Terry Orr brings a fire, spitting facts. Conspiracy theories ain't no turning back. Shining light on the secrets they can see.